So I know like sometimes at comedy shows, like people kind of get in their feelings, mm -hmm. like, and that's probably what triggers the hecklers, or the case may be. So yeah. is there like, I guess, a general rule in comedy? Is there anything that that you will be considered absolutely off limits? Like any topics that is definitely like, don't talk about, don't bring up. Um, I don't believe that there should be anything that you won't bring up. My general rule is don't fuck up the money. That's it. Say whatever you want to say. Just don't fuck up your own money. If that makes any sense. I mean, but speaking on controversial topics could fuck up your money because that's somebody's going to be. But I'm saying like directly. Don't fuck up your money directly. Oh, don't talk about the promoter. Yeah. Like don't, don't do no shit. Like if you at the club and you like. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You in wherever. You in the James L. Knight Center. You like, fuck James L. Knight Center forever. Fuck them motherfuckers. Now you can't come back. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck up the money for real. But say whatever you want to say. You want to talk about white people, black people, gay people, whatever. Just don't fuck up the money and be fucking funny. If you go on, that's my belief too. Like, the further you go out and the more dangerous the subject, the funnier you need to be. You don't have to be that funny if you just talk about your kids. You got to be really funny once you start talking about some retarded kids. You know what I'm saying? You need to be really funny. It's like comedy showing has been crazy. Who would you consider to be, um, I guess, your most favorite comedian of all time? Like of all time. It's, it's like, it's a multi, it's a lot of people, man. Give me three. Three? Yeah. I can give you three. I can give you three people that I think did it for me like every time and it was just crazy. Chappelle did it. Like Chappelle is the guy to me. The next person after that is Patrice O'Neill. Really? Yeah. That's Patrice crazy. O'Neill like he's he's uh, he's unlike any comic you'll see. He was so different from most comedians that his like the way he went about things, the way he talked about things that shit was, was mind-blowing to me, so I fell in love with that comedy. And the third person, I would say, who can just, who has not been able to do any wrong in my eyes. Mm. I mean, I guess I would say, I guess I would say Bill Burr. I don't even white know who dude. Bill Burr is. Yeah, yeah, white dude. Bill Burr. I like, here's the thing that made me fall in love with Bill Burr's comedy was that he was one of the white dudes that was out there with the black people, like doing Shaq All Star. He was doing Comic View with Shaq All Star. He was doing all that stuff with like Gary Owen and them type people too. And he just blew up on the on one way and he just never lost track of it. He always kept that like swag about his comedy. So that's why I like it. And this dude to me was, is phenomenal, but. He's like, he's number three of the Patrice and Dave Chappelle hierarchy. Like, those two, to me, are like the two sides of my brain, almost, for comedy. It's crazy, because I don't, I don't really follow comedy like that. And mm -hmm. I, I came across Patrice O'Neill stuff, like, just from the stuff he used to talk about. It was like, I ain't gonna say it was controversial, but it was like, he talks about life yeah. in a funny way. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? He talking about that the, real. Yeah, he talking about that real. And I'm just like, even when I, um, I looked up like conspiracy theories and stuff about pictures on I'm like, yeah, he knew some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was ahead he was, of his time. He Definitely. was. Yeah. He was. Uh, he spent a lot of his career having to deal with people thinking he was just an asshole, but really he was just telling you the truth. Like, he told a lot of people the truth, of, and at least the truth of how he saw things. Like, exactly. this is what I'm seeing as to be the truth, and people didn't like that about him. Do you know who reminds me of him as well? Um, Corey Holcomb. Yeah, those Reminds two me. had a very similar. I've seen Corey Holcomb a couple of times in person and stuff. Like their, their stand up, the stand up, and it's the similar thing of the honesty, the brutal, brutal how he sees it. Like Corey Holcomb is a very brutally honest person in the way, like everything he says, like that's you could tell that's from his spirit of what he's seeing how life happens. Yeah, I like. I <clears throat> That's because even recently we were just talking about we were just talking about Corey Holcomb, and he got into it with his uh, IG personality. I don't know if you've seen. I seen that. But did you see the um, picture though? I saw the picture. I saw the picture. It was a lady by herself, naked with her with kid. Her son. He Tyler's had like. Son. Didn't he have clothes on? Nah, he had a shirt. He 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 did not have a shirt on, but he had like shorts. He I don't had know shorts. If you, if you want to see it right now? I got it right here. I don't know if you want to see okay. it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, he had shorts and shoes, and she just had shoes. Um, yeah, that's one of those things where 
it, in his, from what it seemed like what happened to him is like, he saw a thing that was like upsetting to him. And so like he said something about it. But the thing is, that's the way Corey talked. That's just how that nigga talk. Like he like like a junkyard dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he just gah, 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 gah. and and some people they get scared off by that shit and they and they don't like it. I mean personally, how I felt about the picture, I was like, that's just a lady with her kid, and people gonna take whatever type of picture with their kid they want to. And so like I do a I do a lot of like not my problem. Like I don't go around telling people don't do this, don't do that because that's not my problem. I'm not trying to think for you because I'm barely thinking for myself. So I try not to give people rules. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of time working on adulting yeah. by your own goddamn self. Yeah, and then you out here else. sitting and talking about other people's stuff. I don't, I don't have time to do that. Yeah, you know who else kind of um has that? I guess that uh that kind of verbiage, Trick Daddy. Mm-hmm. Like he says stuff. Yeah, Trick Daddy even got movement. into it with you on 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 social media with with the black women stuff. Yeah, I and then and that's you know what I'm saying. And, and it's one of those things where it's like. Can't do that, bro. But 2017, just, you can't. You can't do that, and then think shit gonna be sweet, sweet and, no, and everything's right. gonna leave you alone. You could do it, but the shit ain't gonna be cool with everybody, and they gonna let you know how they feel about it. But it's just the way, like the way that he talks, I think it's gonna. It's just the same thing with Corey. It's just gonna fend you off the rip. Like, yeah. if you're a sensitive person, just the way he talks. If you're not listening, it's gonna. You know what I mean? You're gonna want to. The words, is, the words are sharp. He uses really sharp words and language. I've never met him, but I feel like if I I met him, he was cool. He saw me do oh, a show. It? Yeah, that's what's up. Um, I remember I I had no idea he was gonna be there. I did my set, and he was just like, "Hey man, come here." I was nervous as shit because he had a bunch of dudes with him, and he was like, "You a funny motherfucker, bro." And I was I was scared. The whole, my hand was shaking the whole time before I actually shook his hand. But that shit was cool though, just to meet a dude that you had been knowing since you was in like middle school yeah. and hearing about all around town. You see that dude on TV and then all of a sudden he says, you're, you're good at a thing that you've always wanted to do. I would assume that happens a lot with you though because um, I mean, being a comedian, do you always know who's in the crowd? Like you can't possibly. No. So a lot of times like... weird things will happen, man. A lot of weird things. I met Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke was at a comedy show I did. I didn't know he was there until after I had already did my show set, and then I saw that he was there, and I was like, oh, shit, that was Uncle Luke. I mean, you know, a couple of people, celebrities here and there, and you, it's true. You don't really know who's in the building until after the fact. Now, you get to a certain point. Once you get to that Kevin Hart level, what they start, they start telling you that that dude is in the building when you're in the backstage area. They're like, just so you know, LeBron James and Shaq is in the, is in the audience, okay? Don't worry about it, though. And then they, and then you leave, and now you like, oh shit, LeBron James about to watch me do comedy. I better not fuck this up. Uh, I'm, there might be a check in it sometime in the future. Yeah, I don't know when, but I might get a check out of this shit. So let me be. I gotta do really well. 